When it comes to network marketing, many people who join a company and try to build their organization are doing some common mistakes. Mistakes that are going to cost them a lot in lost time and cause them frustration and disappointment. Avoid doing them and your chances for success improves dramatically. Now you are on the right path to achieve financial freedom. Here are 7 things to avoid when you are building your network marketing business. 1. Don't try to do your own thing. Most of the new distributors have the mentality that they know already everything they need. So they go out trying to do things their own way. They think their way, if not perfect, is better anyway from what others do. Whatever they might think, of course, isn't necessarily true. Knowledge and opinion are different things that usually don't coincide. It is better for you to take advice from your sponsor and study the company's manuals that pinpoint the best approach to running your business. What they teach you is not opinion but hard facts as they have tested these things trying to find out what works best. 2. Don't skip the training program. Companies have every incentive to teach and educate their distributors on how to grow their organization and build the foundations of their business. To accomplish that, they organize seminars or they are doing conference calls. Such events, if not free, they usually require a relative small amount of money. Finding excuses to avoid them don't serve you at all as you hinder your chances for success. The things they teach there, albeit very basic, are the essentials and are tailored for new and inexperienced members like you. 3. Don't sit and do nothing. Multi-level marketing may be the best business model suited for inexperienced people, but that doesn't imply that it's automatic. Sit and watch it grow, won't do you any good. Your downline doesn't duplicate on its own. Your sales volume doesn't increase with wishful thinking. You should start working if you want a thriving organization that would provide you the kind of income that you desire. 4. Don't believe that you know everything. It's a trap that a lot of people fall in. They start learning new things, they acquire new skills, they start getting good at what they are doing and before they realize it, it's happening. They believe they are the best. They are on the top. They differ from the ignorant masses out there destined to fail. They now know all the secrets. Nothing can move them from their throne. Every successful entrepreneur knows that education is an ongoing process. And they don't just know it, they practice it every day. They are always trying to learn new things and improve themselves. Knowledge is their journey not their destination. 5. Don't try to build your business for free. I know that you are aware of the adage, you get what you pay for. Although it's not an absolute axiom when you try to grow your business, as there are many free methods that can get you excellent results, it holds true in most cases. You must learn to master the art of wise spending and practice it when you draw up your budget. Free also has its place but you should calculate what it costs you in time in order to take better decisions. 6. Don't talk constantly about the product. You are a marketer and not a salesman. As Robert Kiyosaki the author of Rich Dad series is saying McDonald's don't serve the best hamburger but they are making billions. Marketing isn't about the product but about the whole experience and begins before someone decides that it needs a product similar with the one you sell. That doesn't mean that you could sell garbage, of course, but just don't make the product the focal point of your business. 7. Stop chasing everyone. 90% of the population is not interested in your business. They won't even want to listen to you, much more becoming distributors. Why lose your time and your sanity trying to prove the opposite? You would only get disappointed and frustrated if you follow that route. Your business is to reach those really interested in what you have to offer. You should set up a system in order to make that happen. A system that can also help you to separate those who really can make a difference and help you grow your organization.